So, I don't really know what I'm doing. This is filming. I'm filming on a laptop. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. But basically, it's my question and answer video. I get a lot, like an overwhelming amount of questions about uh, my eating disorder and stuff like that. So I thought I would just make a little video to answer them. Um, I don't know how this is going to work. I don't even know how I'm going to edit this. I have no idea. Let's just roll with it. Okay, first question. How did your parents find out? Um, so... That's a good question. I, I kind of came out to them and I was kind of like, Hey mom. Yeah. Yeah. I was kind of, I just kind of came to them and told them myself, which is, took a lot of guts to do that, because that was terrifying. Um, but I think over the years, they kind of knew something was wrong, just because I was losing weight, and um, my body was changing a lot, and I was, I stopped eating meals with them and stuff like that, so I think they just kind of noticed as the years went on that something was wrong, so. Did you tell any friends before going into the hospital? Um, I told three people before I went in. I told two of my very best friends, and I told my boyfriend at the time. Uh, somehow my entire school found out, so that happened. Um, but I told three people before I went in. Um, favorite and least favorite thing about the hospital? Favorite thing is the nurses. They're so great. Like, they're the nicest. Like, oh, they're just great. They And excuse this pimple, by the way. I have this huge pimple right here. I don't know where the fuck that came from. Anyways, so nurses are great. Least favorite thing, so I had to be under supervision for an hour after each meal. So I, basically someone just sat there with me. Uh, that sucked. Just having someone, like, always there watching you. I don't know. It just, it sucked. How did you tell about being in the hospital when other people asked about it? Um, well, my school found out. And so after my school found out, I was just kind of like, there's no point in denying it, because they already know. Like, there's no point in me saying, like, oh yeah, just kidding, didn't happen, because they already knew about it. So I was, I just sort of was like, I'd rather make something positive out of this than, I just turned blue. What is happening with this lighting? Alright, whatever, I guess I'm blue. So, that's good. Um, what are some things you still struggle with? So, uh, I still struggle with, like, purging. Um, and counting calories. And the thing that pisses me off about that is I can look at something and I just know the calories of it. Like, I, tomato, 20 calories. Uh, Celery stock, 5 calories. Cup and a half of pasta, 320 calories. Half a cup of meat sauce, 80 calories. Uh, 118 milliliters of apple juice, 56 calories. Like, I just, I know this stuff. And it's not that I want to know it. It's just that I do. So, yeah. Um, how long were you in the hospital? I was in for two months. Who is your inspiration? So I was thinking about this earlier. And I was thinking about who my inspiration was. And I think, honestly, my parents. And, like, that sounds super cliche and, like, every kid would say that. But, like, I have, an, I have other issues that we're not going to get into. But my parents just managed to stay resilient and stay so pot. Now I'm, like, white as fuck. My parents managed to stay so positive throughout this entire thing, and they were just always great to me. So that was awesome, to just always have their support. They never, even though things got really hard, they never gave up. How long have you, how many times have you been in the hospital? I've been in four times. How long have you been struggling? Do you still? Uh, since grade six, so four. Four years? Five years? Something like that. And yeah, I, I do. Do you get any hate and how do you respond to it? I get an overwhelming amount of hate. Get people telling me that I'm uh, faking this, 
doing it for likes, that I'm fat, that I'm ugly, that I'm stupid, that I'm like attention seeking. I don't give a fuck about the likes, honey. Like I do this because I can reach people and like there's whole thing, all I wanna do is help people. Homie is all I wanna do. And people somehow don't like that, so they like to give me hate for it. But, um, yeah. Anyways. Yeah. And how do I respond to it? Um, I just don't. Mm -hmm. Do you have anyone or anything motivating you? So I dance. And, um, in order to dance and be able to dance, so I meet with a dietitian like, every two weeks or something like that, just to make sure my weight's stable. And if I go and my weight's down, then I get dance taken away. I don't want that. So dance is a huge inspiration, or a huge motivation, rather, um, just because I have to keep my weight stable in order to dance. So. Do you think people understand when you explain, and do you think that eating disorders are as common as people say? This is a question that I'm probably going to get hate over, but a lot of people don't really know what anorexia is. I think a lot of people think it's that skinny girl who thinks she's fat, but you know, I hate it when people think that because they don't even know how hard it is to live with this every day. And it's exhausting and it drains you. And I think that a lot of people think that they have eating disorders when they don't. Um, so I think it is hard for people to understand. Because it's not just thinking you're fat. That's a sign of depression more. Like, thinking badly about yourself and really bad self-esteem, that's more of a depression symptom because anorexia really isn't even about food. It's it's like your life is so out of control that you feel like you can't do anything, but you know that you can change your body. So, some people do drugs, some people drink. I chose food, so. Uh, how do you get through the hard days? I distract myself. I think distraction is a really good technique to um, better your mental health and just your stability, just your happiness in general. I think if you're feeling negative, if you're thinking negative, you're going to feel negative. So I, I lean on music. Uh, music is a huge thing for me. I love, 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 love music. I couldn't live without it. Um, or I read or I write. I just try and get my mind off of whatever I'm thinking about. Because I find when you distract yourself for long enough, the thoughts sort of go away. So, how do you eat your meals? Uh, my parents supervise me, and I do supervision after. What do you tell other sufferers? I tell them to tell someone. Because when you tell someone, it's just like the elephant in the room's named. Like, it's like you name the problem, and so then they can help you. And, you know, getting, you know, anorexia is so hard because you want to be the sickest. You want to be the the most sick anorexic. And it's so disgusting, but you do, like, that's just part of the, the disorder is, is you want to be the sickest. So by telling someone, they can make sure that you don't get to that point. And telling someone is the hardest part about this. But once you do, I swear to God, it gets better. Like, I, I pinky promise you, I'm not going to bullshit you. Pinky promise, it gets better. Um, and did you ever abuse laxatives? Yes. Gas X was a laxative I abused. And that's all the questions I got. So I'd love to do more of these. And I love you guys. Aw, oh, he's so soft. And yeah, I don't know what to say. I don't know how to end this. Bye.